Hey guys, this is Mamie. Thank you for tuning into my YouTube channel. Today's project is a layered paper pieced card featuring Stamping Bella. And it is the Pampered M0201 rubber stamp. And I'm using Memento Tuxedo Black ink to ink up this image because I am going to be Copic coloring and I have five of the designs stamped here and I'm using my chamois to take the ink off and I'll never go back to using anything else. The chamois is fantastic. So um, I'm not really sure. I got mine from Tuesday morning and it's, I don't, they call it the sham wow or something like that, but mine is just called volcano. I'm not sure. I got it at Tuesday morning and all, and all it is is just like the chamois or a car chamois. And it's fantastic. So if you don't have one of those, I highly recommend that. And anyway, back to what we're going to be working on today. So I'm using my pink trio here of Copics to color in the towels on this sweet girl. And um, I'm making sure that I'm not going to color any images, I any pieces of the image that are close to each other. So I'm going to do the towel separate and then the other towel separate because they're not, I mean, I can do them together on the same image because they're not touching. So if anything is touching, you want to make sure that you do it on separate images. That way you can cut it out easily without damaging any of the images that you're going to be layering on the final card. So here I'm just going in very quickly. I have this really sped up because there's a lot of techniques in this video that I think will be valuable for some people who haven't paper pieced before. And um, paper piecing is really fun and the cards turn out so pretty. I mean, just like little works of art, they're really worth all the time that it takes to um, make one. So, uh, so anyway, so I have it sped up because it was about 30 minutes long. So I'm just trying to um, slow down certain parts because I wasn't sure which parts to keep in and which parts to take out. So anyway, I'm just doing some basic shading, nothing really serious because I didn't really have the time to do a whole bunch of shading and, and all that. So um, because this video is more focused on the paper piecing than the coloring. So yeah, that's why it's going to be kind of fast. <laughs> so I hope you don't mind um, if, if it's too fast or if you feel like it's just kind of um, getting on your nerves, let me know because I'm not really sure how people um, like the speed. And um, so I'll be sure not to go too fast in the future if um, people would rather enjoy a 30 minute video versus me compressing it down to like 15 minutes or, or whatever I can compress it down to. So let me know how you, how you prefer it. But anyway, um, back to the image. So I am using my Copics here and, uh, you can see the Copics that I'm using right there on the screen. I try to keep them just right there by the image for you to see <clears throat> and keep up with as I go along. So now I am going to be cutting out the towels and I'm just cutting right up against the line. And then I'm cutting up through the image, just cutting off all the inside pieces. And I don't show you how I cut everything out. I'm just giving you an idea of how you're supposed to cut out each piece to give you an idea of what you need to be doing. And so there are going to be parts that I don't cut out and those parts are usually the parts of the image that are going to be closer to you that need more layering. And so like her feet, for example, I'm leaving the image there of her feet because I'm going to add another layer to that to make them more dimensional so that her feet are going to be the farthest out, farthest sticking out thing that you see because her, her feet are on, her legs are flat on the ground and her feet are uh, facing us and close to us. So now I'm going to be coloring her skin. Just doing some basic shading. Thank you. 
and I was just testing out if I could extend her nose and um, give her more of a nose, but it didn't look like it would it would really work with that cucumber right there. So I just tried to just kept it simple. And finally, I'm just darkening up her skin, her shadows a little bit. And since her arms are touching this, this um, image, I am going to not keep them together. I'm, I'm going to do them separately so that they'll have more dimension. And you can actually add as many layers as you wish. Um, you know, you can even pop up some parts of the image if you want to. I did, for this video, I just did it very basic so that people could just kind of get an idea. I looked online and I, I haven't seen a ton of paper piecing videos. Um, I'm not really sure why. Uh, I know that it's it takes a long time to do, but um, like I said, it's a labor of love and it's it ends up being well worth it in the end. So here I'm just trying to cut out around her feet without cutting any toes off. Now I'm just trying to see how I want this to be layered, how many layers I want to use. And so now I'm just going to color in her skin and the cucumbers and I think I have the nail polish left to color in. I'm giving her little hot pink fingernails. Oh, actually I do show all of the cutting. I I um, didn't show me going around and darkening all the lines with a black marker because <clears throat> that's pretty simple to understand. So after I cut out all of these little pieces, I'm going to take a fast dry marker. I'm just using a, I think, Paper Mate black marker and um, you can use pretty much anything that you have make sure it's not anything that um, will bleed etc so anyway you're going to take your black marker and you're going to go around all the edges of all of your tiny images and that helps give you a crisper Im <clears throat> image in the end So now I have all her little tiny pieces except for the cucumbers so that she can get the ba get rid of the bags under her eyes because three-year-olds, you know, they're known for having bags under their eyes, I guess. <laughs> I don't know if she's three, but she looks like she's three. <laughs> and then the cucumber seeds are, you know, they're kind of white or um, kind of clear. So I'm just going to take my white jelly roll pen to fill those in.
And so here's like I was telling you, go around the outside of your entire image with a black marker, one that doesn't give off too much ink. Because if it bleeds too much, it might go into your image. So go ahead and do that with all of your little pieces. And now I'm adding the little white seeds. And now we're going to go to the card itself. And I'm going to stamp the image again right on the card. And I am going to also, there's my chamois again, woohoo! And I'm going to also create a mask for her because we're going to do some stenciling and ink blending. And we are using Inka Dinka Doo masking paper. We're just going to cut her out. And we are going to be using the stencil by Mr. Huey's. It's the Bubbles Mask. And that Inka Dinka Do paper really likes to kind of come up on you, so you have to really press it down good. I don't know, maybe it's because we're in Texas that it doesn't stick as well, but oh, it's so frustrating. So anyway, um, right here I'm just going to be adding a little bit of um, what would you call that? Steam. <laughs> We're adding a little bit of steam because she's kind of in the spa, you know, and she's sweating it out a little bit. So she's in the steam room, I guess. I don't know. I just thought it would be cute. I got kind of heavy handed with the ink there. I wanted to use a lighter ink, but I didn't have one. So, oh well. And so now I'm going to tape down the stencil. And I am using my Hero Arts inks. Um, they are shadow inks. And I'm using charcoal and dusty blue. So the charcoal was for the steam, and now the dusty blue is for the um, outside to create the, the bubbles mask. I'm not filling up the whole card. I'm just going around letting it kind of fade off into the sides. And there she is. So cute. And here, I before I um, started getting going too fast because I was so excited to I was almost done with the card. Um, but here, you're going to break down your paper a little bit and give it some more dimension by um, rubbing your um, sc like scoring tool or whatever the the tool that has the ball at the end. I can't think of what they're called right now. But anyway, so you're going to rub that on the back of your images and, and break up the fibers in the paper to um, kind of give it some more dimension, round it out a bit. And so I made a mistake here. You need to go around your image with a gray marker before you apply <clears throat> all the pieces because that helps in case um, some of the image kind of still shows through after you have everything glued on, um, all you'll see is kind of a shadow. So you want to color over the white parts of the image first with some with a gray marker. So I'll think about it, I think right about now, I'm like, oh, I forgot. So it doesn't have to be anything very technical, just um, fill in the sides a little bit. Mm -hmm. 
And so I created uh, two layers for the towel because I wanted for the towel to have a lot of dimension on her head. So it's actually, yes, yeah, so it's, it has two layers. And then the towel on her body is only going to have the one layer. But like I said, you can do as many layers as you want. The more layers you do, the more dimension your card will have. And so her feet are also going to have two layers. And as you can see here, um, the, the top part of the hands have two layers too, so that the hands kind of stick out farther. So feel free to ask me any questions about how many layers you would use on certain certain projects or whatever because, you know, it's it takes some just getting used to. It takes some practice to kind of figure out how things work best and how they look the best. It's looking so cute. <clears throat> the video really doesn't do it justice. It looks really cute in, in r real time. In the real world. <laughs> so here I'm just adding little bits of shading. And I'm going to stamp the sentiment <clears throat> that says born to be pampered. But at, the still shots have a different image because I was a little bit off here a little bit wonky with it and I didn't like just having it right on the paper I felt like with all that layering I just wanted to layer the sentiment as well so here are the still shots and I also added the water droplets by pretty pink posh which the water droplets are adorable I hope you enjoyed this project and if you did please hit the like button and leave a comment below also don't forget to hit the subscribe button as these let me know how I'm doing and what projects you would like to see more of